Good morning, everybody. Welcome to St. Mark's. I'm going to take a quick poll. Raise your hand if you're sick of winter. Nick is, Nick is loving every minute of it, right? Well, I'm glad you made it in. I'm glad you are staying safe and warm this winter. Um, I just want to give thanks for people that have been doing all the snow plowing. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers, you know, Brad, Justin, and Toad. But also those that have done around the church in the parking lot, Bill, Bob, Les, and Brad. I even got the snowblower out the other day. Dang it, it's cold. Holy cow. So yeah, I got the snowblower to work. We've been having issues with it. So God was like, you poor pastor, you need help. <laughs> Started right up. Almost got frostbite, but the driveway's clear. Uh, we're going to have council meeting after church today. I think we have enough, but we will see. Um, next Sunday is council, or not council, but Sunday school and confirmation. So we can get back into the swing of things. Today was supposed to be, I believe, the Knights of Columbus um, breakfast, but that has been postponed to a later date. The following Sunday, the 28th, is going to be a Ruritan breakfast. So hopefully, hopefully, the weather will be good today. Um, does anybody have anything that they need to share with the group this morning? If not, if you're able, please stand for our confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, creator of darkness and light, word of truth, wind sweeping over the waters. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God, our rock and refuge, we pour out our hearts before you. We have known you, but have not always loved you. You have wounded one another and sinned against you. We have not always recognized the Holy Spirit dwelling in each of us. Your covenant, renew your creation, restore us, that we might proclaim your good news to all. Amen. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. God has spoken. The time of grace is now. In Jesus, the reign of God has come near. By the authority of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. You are God's beloved. Amen. Turn to page 138 in the hymnal for the liturgy if you need.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, by grace alone, you call us and accept us in your service. Strengthen us by your spirit and make us worthy of your call. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. amen. Please be seated for the readings. Good morning. Good morning. Our first reading comes from Jonah chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, and verse 10. A reading from Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, the great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah sent out and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three-day walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. If you'll read Psalm 62, 5 through 12 with me responsively. For God alone I wait in silence. Truly my hope is in God. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall never be shaken. And God is my deliverance and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in God always, O people. Pour out your hearts before the one who is our refuge. Those of our high degree are, put a, are but a fleeting breath. Those of low estate cannot be trusted. Placed on the scales together, they weigh even less than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. In robbery, take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set it not upon your heart. God has spoken once. Twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay all according to their deeds. 
Our second reading this morning comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, beginning with the 29th verse. A reading from 1 Corinthians. <clears throat> Excuse me. Brothers and sisters, the point of time has grown short. From now on, let even those who have wives as, be as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing, and those who buy as though they had no possessions, and those who deal with the world as though they had no dealings with it. Dealings with it. For the present form of the world is passing away. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God, saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I, I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. Grace and peace to you from God, our Creator, our Rock, and our Salvation. Amen. On the screen, you'll see a picture of a stained glass window here at St. Mark's. It's a mighty fortress built on a rock, and it's one of my favorite stained glass windows, but it's hidden. Do you know where you can find it? It's in the belfry. So you have to go upstairs. Take a look at it. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorites. And this window fits with the seventh verse of today's psalm. On God rests my deliverance and honor. My mighty rock, my refuge is in God. The writer of this psalm speaks of God as the rock, a fortress, their salvation. And the psalm gives thanks that God's power is the source of our salvation. We put our trust in that power, therefore commit ourselves to God. Now this trust is not to be a naive one, nor is it followed blindly. We look at reality square in the face. But we aren't shaken by that reality, writes the psalmist. Trust is anchored in that rock, fortress, and salvation of God. But we need to steer clear of it turning into a cliché. Easier said than done for us. We may trust now, but things could compromise that trust. We are easily shaken and can falter. Now, the first verses of our psalm were not included today, but I think they should have been. So listen to the first four verses of today's psalm. For God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be shaken. How long will, will you assail a person? Will you batter your victim all, victim, all of you, as you would leaning a wall, a tottering fence? Their only plan is to bring down a person of prominence. They take pleasure in falsehood. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. And then we continue on with today's reading. For God alone my soul waits in silence, for my hope is, in, is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor, my mighty rock, my refuge is in God. 
Threats are all around us. They don't stop. God's power and companionship is not a one-time event. It's continual. Putting this trust in God is risky because the world views it as naive, out of touch with reality. But how else do we navigate our lives? How do we get through all that life throws us? How do we not succumb to the onslaughts of our adversaries? The forces which deny us the life God intends for us. We face greed, materialism, sexism, bias, hatred, disease, death, disasters, abuse of all kinds, gossip. Anything that reduces our value as a human being. So how do we navigate through that? We say we trust in God or we tell others to trust in God. But where is God in this? We don't see God. God is unseen in this. But we do see God's actions and influences through others. We see it and experience when families, friends, even strangers come to the aid and comfort for those in need. We see it when advocates work to protect the vulnerable and the marginalized. We see it when even simple words and random acts of kindness and support lead to building up what others have torn down. This is what we can see. God working through others. Human strength which leads toward building is just as human strength which leads toward building a just society comes from God's strength. And too often we see human strength tearing down each other. That is not from God. That is not a mighty fortress because human strength will fail. Stop and reflect on trust. It's an essential part of life, right? You trust your doctor and the meds they provide. You trust your car will make it through the winter. You'll trust the snowblower will start. You trust your friend to keep a secret. And you can trust God will walk with you on your journey that we call life. You can trust God will always consider you beloved. Trust is an integral part of the body of Christ because our trust in each other originates with God's love for you and me. God is the only source for hope and peace. God is our mighty fortress. God is our rock. Thanks be to God. Amen.
Lord, unto you I will cry. I believe in you, believe in you, for your faithful love for me. You have been my help in time of need. Lord, unto you I will cleave. You are the rock of my salvation. You are the strength of my life. You are my hope and my inspiration. Lord, unto you I will cry. You are the rock of my salvation. You are the strength of my life. You are my hope and my inspiration. Lord, unto you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we celebrate Christ embodied in human form, We pray for God's blessing on the church, the world, and all of creation. God, our rock and deliverance, do not let your church be shaken. We trust you never abandon your promises to the most vulnerable among us. Give your church wisdom and empathy in its varied ministries. God of grace, receive our prayer. God, our hope and refuge, you place the fish in the sea. Guide our care of the waters and all creatures that live in them. Protect the land and all creatures that live on them, especially during winter. God of grace, receive our prayer. God, who proclaims judgment and offers mercy, be a model to the leaders of our nation and the world. As they lead, may they follow in your way of justice and truth. God of grace, receive our prayer. God, who cares for the suffering, care for survivors of assault and sexual abuse, and sustain all who minister to them. Keep safe any who live under threat of violence, those living in poverty, and any among us who are ill or in pain, especially Vicki Achenbach, Vicki, Ruth Ann Grimm, Ruth Ann, Jean Schroeder, Jean, Patrick Kester, Patrick, Connie Ekman, Connie, Laura Gieselman, Laura, Bill Sazma, Bill, and Fern Schlotman. Fern. God of grace. Receive our prayer. God of the gospel, as the first disciples shared the good news, empower us at St. Mark's to be open to your call. When we are uncertain of your call, assure us. When we have strayed from your ways, redirect us. God of grace. Receive our prayer. God of new life, we pray for those celebrating birthdays this week, especially Leroy Clausen, Leroy. Kathy Ekman. Kathy. Troy Schroeder. Troy. Oakley McFarland. Oakley. May they always know you are their guide and comfort. God of grace. Receive our prayer. God who holds the saints against your tender bosom, we trust you welcome them into your care. Comfort those who grieve, even as we place our hope in your salvation. God of grace. Receive our prayer. Knowing the Holy Spirit intercedes for us, We offer these prayers and the silent prayers of our hearts in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all. Share a sign of peace with those around you.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you. Almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. By the leading of a star, he was shown forth to all nations. In the waters of the Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved Son. And in the miracle of water turned to wine, he revealed your glory. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church and earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Holy One, the beginning and the end, the giver of life, blessed are you for the birth of creation. Blessed are you in the darkness and the light. Blessed are you for your promise to your people. Blessed are you in the prophets' hopes and dreams. Blessed are you for Mary's openness to your will. Blessed are you for your son Jesus, the word made flesh. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again after supper he took a cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. With this bread and cup, we remember your word dwelling among us, full of grace and truth. We remember our new birth in his death and resurrection. We look with hope for his coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Holy God, we long for your spirit. Come among us. Bless this meal. May your word take flesh in us. Awaken your people. Fill us with your light. Bring the gift of peace on earth. Come, Holy Spirit. All praise and glory are yours, Holy One of Israel. Word of God incarnate, power of the Most High one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Please be seated. Come to the table, eat and drink of the rock of our salvation.
so this morning for distribution, we'll do one side at a time. I'll do the bread, you will do the wine and the juice. So we'll start with this side first. When the side is finished, then we will do this side. Body of Christ given for you. Body of Christ given for you. Please stand if you're able. And may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you, preserve you, and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Let us pray. Giver of every gift. 
Christ's body is our food, and we are Christ's body. Raise us to life by your power for the benefit of all and to your glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. God who names you, Christ who claims you, and the Holy Spirit who dwells in you, bless you and remain with you always. Amen. In a weary land, a weary land, a weary land. My Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a shelter in a time of storm. No one can do like Jesus, not a mumbling word he said. He went walking down to Lazarus' grave, and he raised him from the dead. Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a weary land, a weary land. Why, Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a shelter in a time of storm. When Jesus was on earth, the flesh was very weak. He took a towel and girded himself, and he washed his disciples' feet. Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a weary land, a weary land. My Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a shelter in a time of storm. Yonder comes my Savior, in Him who loves so well. He has a palm of victory and the keys of death and hell. Is a rock in a weary land, a weary land, a weary land. My Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a shelter in a time of storm. Go in peace. You are God's beloved. Thanks be to God.